Hey, this is Mr. Drogemeyer. Thanks for joining me. For uh, pre-algebra, we're talking about the fair race portfolio in Unit 5. And uh, in the last video, we talked about how we could write an equation uh, based off of the speed of the animal. We were writing a linear equation. And so I've written two examples here. So if we, if our race was between the squirrel and the chicken, the squirrel's equation would be the distance equals 12 times the number of hours or times time. And then for the chicken, D would equal nine times the time. So basically for every hour, the squirrel runs 12 miles. For every hour, the chicken runs nine miles. And so I've graphed these here. In blue, you can see this would be the squirrel. Um, we have the time along the x-axis on the bottom, the distance along the y-axis on the left side here. And so you can see that the squirrel, basically from the start, would be ahead of the chicken. And so in order to make this a fair race, I would want to look at where do they have the same distance as an example. And so I'm going to pick up a third color here. And so if we look at a distance of 36 miles, so I'm just going to draw a little line in there. And my green's not quite as dark as I wanted it to be. So let's try something. Let's try a darker green. All right. And so 36 miles, it's going to take the squirrel three uh, three hours to go 36 miles, it's going to take the chicken four hours. So one way that I could make a fair race between these two animals would be to give the chicken a one hour head start on a 36 mile race. So, uh, so that's the kind of idea that I would want you to be looking for um, with your graph how could you adjust the parameters or the, the different things of the race to make it fair? So one way here between the chicken and the squirrel, if I said that um, it's a 36 mile race and the chicken gets a one hour head start. then that's a fair race because if they go continuously at their regular speed, they should finish at exactly the same time. So just an idea, that's a, that's a way that you can go about that. Um, you'll be using whichever animals you choose. Uh, but so you want to be thinking about once you graph it and you're gonna give me uh, your graph, you're going to, to graph it on paper and that's what you're going to submit in the Dropbox. Um, and then in your Google form, you will be telling me um, what you would do based off of your graph to make that race fair. So I hope that helps to, to answer any questions you might have. Uh, but as always, if you do have other questions, please let me know. Thanks.